All right, guys, I'm very excited because this is my own SAS that I built and I had to scratch my own niche. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the process it took me to build my own app for myself and then I published it on the App Store and people are using it. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things I like to do is I like to work out and I like to try to eat as clean as possible, or at least to eat well. One of the things that I always struggle with because I'm always busy creating content for you guys, creating courses and learning new technologies. And so one of the last things I have to think about is, okay, what am I going to eat? So I get up in the morning and I want to go to the gym and I want to know what is it that I'm going to eat when I get back from the gym. And so that's when I had this idea. I said, wait a minute, there's AI hmm, and there is coding. So I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, and so I know how to build applications. So I said, you know what? I'm going to build myself an app that will allow me to do one thing only and one thing. So the idea was very simple. So you open your app, of course, and you say, okay, what am I going to eat today? Well, the idea is that every time I would open my fridge or I would have ingredients laying around, I couldn't figure out right away what to make. So I figured I said, maybe I could use AI to take a photo of those ingredients and then the AI is going to suggest a recipe for me. Once I had the idea, I said, okay, I can do that. But first, as a good programmer, I had to think of the structure of this whole application. It had to be simple, but I had to think about it. So, so the first thing I needed to do is, of course, to take an image of those ingredients. And then I would go ahead and call a vision API of some sort. I just used OpenAI API. That way you can look at that image and then retrieve all of the ingredients of that image. And once that is done, then I would take the text from that image. In this case, would say avocados, tomatoes, whatever it is, was in that image. And then I would create a prompt and attach all those ingredients from the image. And then the application would, of course, generate the recipe. That was the idea. And so I went ahead and started coding. Not really. I had to think about the whole structure behind, right? The first iteration of the back end, that was before the OpenAI vision model was actually working. So I had to go to Hugging Face and found a model that was working, but it was extremely expensive. So that wouldn't work. But luckily, I actually used that for the first prototype. I actually used one of those Hugging Face models for a while because that's all that I had available until the vision model from OpenAI was available. And I was like, yes, that was really good. So I started using that instead. And it was amazing because that made it so much easier. I had other ideas of using Lambda functions. This is all AWS. If you are interested actually in learning about how to use Lambda functions, AWS services and all that, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I then went ahead and started putting together the user interface. Now, as you see, uh, the user interface is really not that great. It's just very basics, but it does the job. So as you can see, we have a few options here of, you can go ahead and take an image. I don't have any food here, of course. Uh, so it's not going to work. And also I'm able to go to the library of images and goes and gets all of that. But also I added another option to click here and add ingredients manually. So I can add apple, hit enter, and then add and add uh, avocado. And then once we have at least two, I can go ahead and say generate and it should be able to go and generate a recipe for me. So all of this is the back end, okay? So it takes a little bit because it has to think about it. And voila, you can see, it tells us the preparation time and all this great, great stuff. It's really good, I like it. What did I use to build this app? Well, I used Flutter because Flutter is just a cross-platform framework that allows you to build Android and iOS applications with one code base. I actually have a full course on Flutter if you're interested. There's a link in the description and it's pretty awesome. I love it. It's easy to pick up and you can build amazing applications. With Flutter, you can also build web apps and desktop applications and so much more. And once I knew it was working fairly well, I pushed this on the App Store. In fact, I will leave a link below if you want to go and check it out and start using this application. It's pretty awesome. So go ahead and install and just play with it. Unfortunately, this is only for iOS, so that's that's what it is. And so yeah, go ahead and get the app if you want and just check it out. So you will have, I believe I give about five coins, which means you can create five recipes before you have to recharge the credits. That's what I did. And then I pushed that to the app store and it got 
pretty good. Let me go check it real quick here. You can see here, uh, it hasn't been doing that great, but that's okay. And proceeds to zero. Nobody's buying my stuff. And there's been one crash. I need to take a look at that to make sure that it works, but that's okay. And of course, if you go to the app store, you can see that we have Fuda AI. That's very good. This is the app that is over there in the app store. So you can go ahead and install it. And the way I monetize this, I have in-app purchases, which means that you can download this app and then you can use it. You have a few coins, like I said, for free. But then if you want to generate more recipes, then you have to pay for coins, which is fair because of course I have to pay for the API, OpenAI API that I'm using in the back end to extract information from the images and all that stuff. So in this video, I just want to share with you this application I've built and it is there. You can go ahead and get it and just use it and maybe support me. So that'd be great. And also as a way for you to show you that I actually do what I preach. So I, I'm a coder, I'm a programmer, I teach people how to code, how to program, and I build stuff for myself. So if you like this kind of content of behind the scene of the things that I'm actually working on, let me know so that I know that you like it and I can make more of it. Thank you so much. And I hope this was inspiring and I'll see you next time.